Hey, Mr. Grouch here, and uh, today we're going to be talking about towing with your GX470. This is going to be a three-part series, the first one covering hitches. Not all hitches for the GX470 are made equal, so you got different options with different tow capacities. I'm going to be doing another video on the brake controller specifically and kind of what I recommend there. And the last video, it's going to come a little later because I'm right in the middle of changing up setups, is going to be on your transmission cooler. So anyways, let's get started, and I'll talk to you in a second. All right, so let's talk hitches for the GX470. In 2003 and 4, Lexus had a um, kind of bumper support mount uh, hitch that gave you a little bit more departure angle. Uh, it was a nice little option, but they overrated it initially. They rated it for 6,500 pounds towing and, and like 600 pounds tongue or 650 pounds tongue. And that was way off. They actually got called out by um, some governing body and, and they put a hold on it. And then I think it ultimately got knocked down to 5,000 pounds or 500 tongue weight. Um, they, you can still find that model on eBay in certain places. I don't like those at all. I don't want to have anything attached to my bumper supports. I want a frame mount tow hitch if you're serious about towing anything. Now what I run, you can see this one here. This is a draw tight current production that I put on recently on this GX. It's newer to our family. The draw tight's rated for 6,000 pounds or 600 pounds on the tongue. And the tongue weight being when you set a trailer on your actual ball, uh, that's the weight or weight pressing down on the ball. So you'd have 600 pounds available on that. Um, there's an option from Kurt, a frame mount from Kurt, that's rated at 5,000 pounds and 500 ton weight. So it's like, why don't you just go with the draw tight? Plus, the draw tight also has a nice little steel bracket welded on it that accommodates your factory seven-way really nice. So that's my recommendation to you. If you're serious about towing, use the draw tight, and uh, you're going to be in good shape. Um, now, when it comes to towing and tow capacity, do remember your GX is a short, short wheelbase vehicle. It's not a long wheelbase vehicle. You don't want to get up there and ex right up to the very limit of the tow capacity of the vehicle or tow a really, really long trailer. I really wouldn't want to tow anything over 24 foot with a GX. Um, now there's something that comes into play that we call the 80% rule when we tow. You never want to exceed 80% of the vehicle's rated tow capacity. And, and with the GX being 6,500 pounds, uh, if you go by the 80% rule, that really means you should target 5,200 pounds or lower for whatever you're going to tow. Now, hitch weight, that's a little bit different. You're looking at 480 pounds if we went off the factory rating um, or off of, uh, say, 600 pounds that this draw tight's rated for. Weight distribution, it gets up a little more, but that's a gray area with weight distribution because you're kind of gambling with numbers there. So again, 5,200 pounds and 480 tongue is kind of what I would target for the GX. Um, I hope this little video on the hitch portion helps some of you out. I'm going to do a little bit more, expand a little bit more on where this seven way is and how it connects up. And uh, then we'll move on with this uh, little overview. All right, so let's talk about your electrical connector. This is the seven way plug. This is actually probably already in your GX. If you don't have a factory tow package, you may not even know it's there, but it's probably tucked up inside your frame. Now you gotta break off or pop off um, some little mounting tabs and clips to get enough length out of it but um, it's going to be tucked up inside here and even if you don't have this seven way which you likely do then at least the harnesses are going to be there up inside your frame now you can see my spare tire right here so this harness is going to be up in this area of your frame um, if you do do the frame mount hitch setup one thing that is absolutely critical if there was nothing bolted to these these holes in your frame you're going to want to get an m12 by 1.25 millimeter starter tap and you want to gently tap out these bolts and also this backing bolt here because if there's any rust or corrosion on those threads and you try to tighten these bolts down you're going to break that capture nut out of the frame from inside the frame and it's going to spin free and you're going to have a hell of a mess on your hand so make sure you get that tap and make sure you tap all these three holes mounting holes clear all right, I hope this video helps some of you guys out. Um, all the links and product links for stuff I use are in the video description. And stay with me for more videos on like, say your brake controller setup, your wire harness, that kind of deal. And, and the links are gonna be in the video description for those as well. Um, one other thing I wanted to touch on is before you tow or tow heavy, if you're towing something tiny, a thousand pounds, 1500 pounds, you know, that, that's fine. 
if you're going to be towing something heavy, don't put other people's lives at risk. Make sure that your suspension is up for it. Make sure your shocks in the rear, your struts up front. Make sure your sway bar bushings. Make sure all that stuff is good and in good working order. If you're using airbags, which are awesome for towing with the auto leveling system, make sure your airbags aren't 20 years old and then try to tow something heavy with them. Get those things replaced. They're not that expensive to replace. Um, but anyways, yeah, safe towing, everybody. I hope this helps you out again, and uh, I will talk to you soon.